I'm able to interact with people all over, from all over the country, not only in Syracuse, but people come to us from all over the country that are zoo goers, and I really like to hear about their experiences at other zoos. In this place for me, it's the um, getting to meet all the people that don't live from in this area and coming in from out of, out of state and in state, but not from Syracuse. I mean, I see people from Syracuse, obviously, but it's meeting all those people, and then I have the return business. So I'm, I'm seeing people that I waited on when I first started working here in 89. It's great. I mean, you get to meet a lot of different people, a lot of great people. See them coming back again, you know, establish relationships with some of the uh, clients. I say, you know, you see them over the years, I say, you know, they repeat business. You know, so it's, it's a good job. I love it. I really enjoy the diversity of it. Every day is completely different. I get the wonderful opportunity to help make dreams come true, whether or not it is somebody who's here for a block of rooms for a, a social event, or whether or not it happens to be a large convention, wondering whether or not Syracuse would be the right choice. I get to prove to them every day that they didn't make the right choice in choosing us. So that to me is, is a lot of pride in my community, a pride in what I do, and that's why I stayed with it all these years. The benefits that I receive from people by pleasing them. Uh, when you have people that, tour, uh, that travel around and they come into my establishment for the first time and they're able to experience something that they either have that's right true to their home environment or something that they've never experienced, it is uh, truly a breath of fresh air uh, to be able to please people and to wow them. And that, is, uh, that is the true thing about Gentiles, it's a wow factor. Meeting people, definitely. Very exciting to meet people from all over the globe. I love the people. In the tourism industry, you meet so many different people from all different places all over the world. Meeting all the different people that come into the area for different events. What I like about the area is everything that it has to offer. It, it has the culture, it has the arts, it has sports, it has everything that makes us a well-rounded community. Things that you would typically think that you'd have to only see in a larger city, we offer it here. Well, I have to say, in, in the fall, in this area, the array of colors is just awesome. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love the change of seasons. Um, I love the history behind Syracuse. Uh, you learn to appreciate the arenas with regard to education, um, theater and culture, the parks and such. So it's, it's a great avenue for family as well as business. I think this area has a lot to offer. Um, I know people always say Syracuse, what's in Syracuse, it snows all the time, but I think that's actually one of the benefits, I love snow. Um, there's the university, there is, you know, I mean, you can swim in Florida 24-7, but you'll never be able to go skiing in Florida or skating, or, and I think having that in an outside atmosphere, being able to take your kids to the parks and you know, cross-country ski and do snowshoeing and, you know, visit all the no, history. I mean, we have a lot of it up here, and I don't think people realize that. Ten years ago, we had a couple come into our hotel that was on their way to, uh, you know, their winter trip to Florida. And the gentleman had a heart attack uh, just prior to Glen and they ended up spending that month uh, in our hotel and really becoming part of our family. Uh, and to this day, 10 years later, uh, they still come back to our hotel uh, to meet with the staff, to uh, you know, eat in our restaurants uh, as, as kind of a vacation for them. I was on a room service run, it was, real busy. it was a real busy night, and I had a couple orders, and I just finished taking up, I think, four or five orders, and uh, there was a woman that was having trouble with a room key and she, uh, she asked me if I could assist her at all, and I went and checked her key, and it, it, wasn't, it wasn't working. So I had the service elevator with me instead of having her wait for the regular elevator. I took her downstairs with me and showed her to the front desk, and she got a new key, and then she was actually heading up the same time that I was. So I, I brought her up to, the, to her room and got her in her room, and then it turned out that that woman was actually staying with us, you know, scoping out the hotel to see if she could book a... 200 room event that they would have been staying with us. She was like here for a convention. We had a group um, just this past year that we actually rolled a Harley Davidson motorcycle and parked it in the lobby because their, um, their whole theme was Harley Davidsons and motorcycles. And so when they walked in and saw that in our lobby, they were just blown away. We have a gentleman from Canada who has celebrated his birthday 
by riding the carousel every year since Carousel Center opened, which was in 1990. This year, or actually in 2009, he celebrated his 90th birthday by riding the carousel along with a large contingency from Ottawa, Canada of his family. But not only did Carousel Center benefit, the whole area benefited because they came in for a full weekend, they enjoyed the restaurants, our other attractions, and just had a ball. We had a very important uh, site visit and the Convention Visitors Bureau actually hosted it and they were bringing uh, the visitors around to book a future convention. And we, the Renaissance was the final stop before these folks had to go back uh, home and they were on a tight schedule. Um, they were finishing up about lunchtime, so uh, uh, with the help of my team, we, we ended up uh, preparing a couple of uh, to-go lunches and uh, gave them to these folks. And I, I later found out that those, uh, for whatever reason, that, that, that little touch uh, worked, worked miracles in terms of payback of, of the, the simple touch here in Syracuse to, to get those folks to end up, uh, I don't think it was the sandwiches, but they ended up uh, booking here in Syracuse for their event. We had put on Dickens Christmas in Skinny Atlas, which is a um, month-long event on the weekends from Thanksgiving to Christmas. And uh, this has happened more than once, but I can remember this young man calling us, and he wanted to propose to his girlfriend on um, the carriage ride that we provide um, f as a free part of the Dickens Christmas event. And so we arranged for that to happen, and um, he was just like the happiest guy, and she was the happiest girl around. It was just, and I can't tell you, uh, we've sort of become the engagement capital of central New York, it seems like. You'll see people all the time in the gazebo down on one knee proposing to people. So it's just a lot of fun. And then the nice part is lots of time they will come back to Skinny Atlas and um, host their wedding in town.